What would you do for a shot at redemption? Time where they did have some momentum. From Ruler, he gets devoured by Core J Chase. Why were they so far forward? In the case of Ruler in Samsung Galaxy in League of Legends, you run it back, all the way back. Samsung Galaxy push mid first. You can see the flash old left. They've caught Baker. They've got the CC. The mid laner is down. The unkillable Demon King has done his life. This isn't necessarily a story of when Samsung would beat SKT. Many were picking Samsung to win, but instead how Ruler immortalized himself. No one expected the AD carry to flash forward on the Faker, one of the greatest League of Legends players of all time, and live to see the game end. Because it's just all about this flash from Ruler, flashing forward with the ultimate and hitting Faker, the most iconic League of Legends player of all time. Today on Pros React, Kobe and Freak, LCS, and World Shoutcasters who called this very play will walk us through everything that led up to this unforgettable League of Legends moment. In League of Legends, Faker is legendary. He became a world champion in his rookie year and then led SK Telecom to the first ever back-to-back -back world titles in 2015 and 2016. On top of his many regional titles in South Korea, he was the first esports pro to be featured in ESPN The Magazine back in June of 2015. Ruler did not have the same pedigree, but was a strong addition to the team when he joined in the summer of 2016. He and Samsung made it all the way to the world championship that year. So Ruler was, I would say, you know, 95% well-rounded, and the last 5% was edging toward aggression. That 5% was on display in the worst way possible. A bit of the time where they did have some momentum from Ruler. Ruler. He gets devoured by Core JJ. He's in so much trouble. Flashes away to safety. Why were they so far forward? Despite being so close to a reverse sweep, that one mistake cost Samsung the title. Fast forward to 2017, and as fate would have it, Samsung got the World Finals rematch they were pining for. So then the question going into this final though for me was like, okay, it's SKT at Worlds, but also was Samsung lucky to win the quarters or were they still like the fifth best team out of Korea? Samsung surged ahead with a 2-0 lead, so SKT made some changes. They subbed out jungler Peanut for Blank. Baker also made a change and picked Karma, a champion he hadn't played during Worlds at all yet. Leading up to this game, even SKT, you could tell they were they were not sure of themselves, and they were they were subbing out their jungler uh, blank coming in for the third game, and then you could see it start to crack, start to form. But it's still SKT. We are on the Summoner's Rift, and it is going to be a barn burner of a match. Karma is a champion that is less about individual playmaking and more about buffing her team and debuffing the enemy. Ruler locked in Varus, his most successful pick at Worlds, a marksman with low mobility, high damage output, and a ranged immobilizing ultimate, Chain of Corruption. Ruler's flash was a catalyst that, to the untrained eye, caused panic and chaos. What was really going on is far more impressive. You, you get a feel for like little openings um, you know, by the movements of the teams, and the reason why Ruler takes this one and, and flashes in there is you, you can see them spread out just before. So SKT, they, they basically dissolve into three different corners, like one bottom river, one top river, and then bang, heading straight back up mid lane. And so there's there's this small opening, small window where, where you can strike. And so, okay, if you're playing it slow motion, you're like, yes, piece by piece. Yes, all these plays make sense. Yes, it's a good target. Yes, this was well executed. Like, even down to the fact that Faker's flash is up in about 10 seconds. And, and a player that good, usually those flashes are timed, but even if it's not, and you don't know for sure if flash is down, flash or flash is not horrible. Honestly, I feel like that is a button matching moment, because you see both lockets of the Iron Solari go off and the barrier. I wasn't even paying attention to how close Ruler got to actually dying in the aftermath and Core JJ. It took all of his shields uh, and heal to keep Ruler alive. He almost got the counter kill. 
So the ult back from Bang is intentional. This is Bang going um, explosive charge, auto, 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 ult. Because he needs to jump away and he can't do damage anymore. So press R at 600 damage, no big deal. The unfortunate part is actually, as I'm watching frame by frame, Blank doesn't expect the Buster shot backwards. So uh, Blank ults in to where Varus was. If Blank had like somehow mind controlled predicted Buster shot, he could have basically point blank his ulti and Ruler would have died pre Lulu ult. SKT's invincibility aura had finally been stripped away from them. No matter the circumstances, all eyes were always on Faker. Faker, it really felt like he was just all over the map, zooming around, saving people left and right, putting out fires, getting solo kills over here, going to save teammates over there. This championship felt like a 2v8. Like that that's my recollection of the 2017 run for SKT is like Faker and Huni like dragged the team kicking and screaming across the finish line. And then uh, yeah, the Faker just gets like completely one shot. Obviously a really good play by Ruler. And and Ruler remained like the best AD carry in the world for a very long time. And he's always a player I'm gonna remember very fondly because he was so exceptionally good for maybe that whole two-year run. This play from Ruler was the final nail in the coffin against SKT and marked the end of a dynasty. Though flash ults have been pulled off countless times throughout League of Legends matches, none of them have ever been on a stage this big against a player this celebrated. Was timing this precise by the least likely candidate? This play made all the difference between being just another obstacle for the greatest of all time, taking away their crown.